Hey everyone, Thornton here, and today we're going to be talking about something pretty exciting. It does appear that Respawn, the hit studio behind Titanfall and Apex Legends, has officially confirmed they are working on a brand new Star Wars game, and it's all about the Mandalorian, which, you know, makes sense because I've got myself a Mandalorian helmet, so I had to talk about it. We're going to go over everything you guys need to know, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So in the vast galaxy of gaming, pun intended, there are a few franchises that really have as much cultural significance as Star Wars. I know this from experience. I have spent my entire life waiting for the Knights of the Old Republic remake. It looks like that's not gonna happen and my heart's been broken. And this is due to the fact that it has such rich lore, tons of different characters, and there's just epic battles left and right. And now with Disney taking over LucasArts, there has been a lot of new games coming out and the gaming world is abuzz about the fact that Respawn Entertainment, the creators behind Titanfall and Apex Legends, and also Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order, are now developing a new first person Star Wars Mandalorian game. Now, Respawn has a solid track record when it comes to developing immersive and engaging games, most notably first-person shooters. I mean, if you haven't heard of Titanfall or Apex Legends, you've been living under a rock. It's got tons of innovative gameplay mechanics, super tight controls, and fast-paced action. Titanfall in particular introduces players to a world of mech warfare and vertical movement, while Apex Legends revolutionized the battle royale genre with its unique character abilities and team-based gameplay, also implementing the ping system and the respawn mechanic. Now, their expertise in creating all this kind of dynamic and fluid gameplay really could be invaluable in the development of this Star Wars game, which is going to be interesting as it is focused around the Mandalorian bounty hunters. As described by insider sources from Insider Gaming, it's going to emphasize mobility and style, allowing players to traverse the galley with the iconic Mandalorian jetpack. It's going to have that high mobility gameplay that we all know from Respawn's previous titles and promises to deliver an exhilarating and fast-paced experience for players, which is fantastic because what makes Apex Legends so good for a lot of people is its movement, along with Titanfall also being very movement centric and it's not like this is Respawn's first time messing around in the waters of Star Wars. Jedi Fallen Order and its sequel Jedi Survivor showcases a ton of ability to craft compelling narratives. The storyline in those games is fantastic. I myself am a huge huge fan and I actually have a lot of faith in Respawn's ability to come up with really cool concepts and lore. Even if Apex Legends falters with it a little bit, Titanfall at least in the second game had a wonderful storyline. Going back to those Jedi games though, both of them received critical acclaim, had tons of of memorable characters and really created its own Star Wars aesthetic and world within that, which is great. So they have a proven track record, not only in first person shooters, but Star Wars storyline driven games. And if there was any studio that I actually trusted to give us an unforgettable journey in the Star Wars universe, it's probably Respawn, especially with a cool twist, hopefully on a Mandalorian style. The setting of the game is going to be during the reign of the Galactic Empire, which is something, you know, Respawn, once again, familiar with, with the Jedi Survivor games. And you're going to be playing as a Mandalorian bounty hunter. You're going to do a series of missions across various planets. You'll go ahead and capture bounties because, well, you're a Mandalorian, and you're going to navigate the dangerous landscape of the Star Wars galaxy. I actually like this because it's very similar to what Ubisoft is doing with their Star Wars game. We're not going to be playing as a Jedi. Don't get me wrong. I love wielding a lightsaber. Force powers are super fun, but I feel like we do that in almost every mainstay Star Wars game. There's going to be a decision to focus on a linear narrative experience rather than an open world adventure, which means we might actually be getting a campaign that's more reminiscent of Titanfall than, say, Jedi Survivor. Now, this is also really exciting because I feel like for fans that really were looking forward to the canceled Star Wars 1313 game, this is finally something that they can expect to see in the near future. Originally, that was going to be a bounty hunter game, but it was scrapped quite a while ago, and it's nice to see that Respawn is kind of picking up the reins and putting an emphasis on a bounty hunter protagonist and high mobility gameplay. For many fans, myself included, the prospect of finally experiencing a game in the vein of 1313 is a dream come true. Now, we're still a couple of years off from this game. However, I myself have actually received an invitation to play test it. I probably will not be able to do so due to a various number of reasons, but I will be keeping an eye on this project for quite a while and I am very, very excited to see what Respawn can do with a first person shooter game set in the Star Wars universe. Let me know what you guys would like to see personally from this game. Let me know down below, are you guys excited for a Respawn made Star Wars game? How do you think it will work outside of the Jedi ones that we've seen before with Cal Kestis? And do you think that a FPS game made by this studio will be an absolute hit for Star Wars? Also, don't forget to check out my other videos right here where I cover video game news on anything that you guys might be interested in. And until next time, everyone, this is The Way.